This is Paramount Studios in Hollywood, where the half-century march of progress in the great medium of the motion picture is climaxed today by the introduction of a revolutionary new development which will bring you, our audience, the ultimate in screen entertainment. To the great milestones of sound, color, and large screen, Paramount now adds Vista Vision. Here in this huge soundstage theater, we have previewed the scenes in Vista Vision from 10 forthcoming Paramount productions which you are about to see. But first we want to show you how this screen marvel began. In Paramount's optical and electronic laboratories, where scientists have been working to develop a film that would combine spectacular size with complete focus across the screen. To eliminate fuzziness and distortion, reproduce every scene photographically as clearly as the human eye would see it. A new type of camera, the VistaVision camera, was the result. Using this, the new VistaVision film negative, twice as big, twice as clear as the old style negative, bringing brilliance and glowing colors never achieved before. I never saw the sun shine so bright, never saw things go so right. Noticing the days hurry and by when you're in love, mama, how they fly. Oh, blue days, oh, all of them gone, long gone. Nothing but blue skies from now. Christmas was the first motion picture to be filmed in VistaVision. And what could provide a more perfect debut than this great Irving Berlin musical starring the greatest names in show business? Bing Crosby, Danny Kaye, Rosemary Clooney, and Vera Ellen. Handy, there's a minister handy, and it sure would be dandy. White Christmas decided Paramount executives beyond a question of doubt that all pictures to follow must be filmed in VistaVision. Proud of the results achieved in this new concept of filmmaking, we have assembled scenes from these forthcoming films so that you can see for yourself the amazing clarity, rich beauty, and impressive scope of VistaVision. VistaVision takes you to the Riviera with Cary Grant. Notice that in this amazing scene, the people close to the camera and the scenic beauty of the distant background are equally clear and distinct. To Catch a Thief is an Alfred Hitchcock production, his greatest tale of intrigue and adventure, filmed in this beautiful playground of international society. And speaking of gorgeous scenery, Who's the mysterious lady who's giving Carrie the eye? Confidentially, it's the beginning of a wonderful love affair. And what could be a more perfect rendezvous for it than this hideaway high above Monte Carlo? And who could be a more perfect partner for romance than Grace Kelly, who follows her great dramatic performance in The Country Girl with this sizzling role as a beautiful, sensation-hunting American heiress? Of course, in a Hitchcock film, there's lots of excitement, and the panoramic sweep of VistaVision gives the maestro new scope to fill the screen with thrills and to extract a full quota of O's and ahs for the beauty and spectacle of his lavish scenes. Grace Kelly, a vision in VistaVision. Gary Grant, more exciting than ever before in Alfred Hitchcock's To Catch a Thief. Strategic Air Command, the first great story of the free world's global guardians. Now our VistaVision cameras take you into areas never photographed before to encompass the awe-inspiring power of America's armada of the skies. But our story begins in a far different atmosphere, the typically American scene of the baseball diamond, where you'll meet again the wonderful star team you loved in the Glenn Miller story. Jimmy Stewart as the shortstop of the Cardinals, and June Allison as his most loyal fan. But their romance is shadowed by giant wings, 
as the baseball player answers the call to play a more dangerous game. This is the B-47, the fastest and deadliest bomber in the world. To fly them, men must be trained to a peak of perfection that no flyers have ever reached before. And here they are, wing to wing, spreading as far as the eye can see. The VistaVision camera capturing this scene with all its tremendous scope. The scream of the jet sounding an alert to the world. The combat ready crews of the SAC sweep the skies from Okinawa to Greenland and come home to the women they love. A story as close to you as a kiss, far ranging and spectacular as the great planes that fly the stratosphere. So vast it could only be filmed in the new screen marvel of Vista Vision Strategic Air Command. Now, with the advent of VistaVision, the screen has developed the stature to recreate the greatest of all true American sagas. The Far Horizons, first motion picture to depict the amazing story of Lewis and Clark, whose expedition into the unknown opened the way west for the new American nation. As you make this memorable journey with them, you'll share their discovery of the untamed wilderness through scene after scene of breathtaking grandeur. Here you see the full power of VistaVision, the distant mountains on the horizon as sharp and clear as the boat in the river close by. The camp of the Minotauri, a scene of color and menace as these savage tribesmen sense the impending violence of the conflict to come in the arrival of these first envoys of the white man's government. Now through the sweeping scope of the VistaVision camera, you'll share the thrills of the mightiest exploit in the annals of the frontier. Starring Charlton Heston as Captain Clark, Donna Reed, Academy Award winner for her performance in From Here to Eternity as the beautiful Indian girl Sacagawea. Fred McMurray as Captain Lewis, who drove them onward against every obstacle that nature put in their way. An imperishable chapter in the great story of America, written in the blood, sweat, and glory of these soldiers in buckskin, and the dramatic decision of a beautiful girl torn between her love for the white stranger and the primitive code of her own people. Horizon, blazing a 2,000 mile trail of stirring adventure through a thousand moments of savage danger to bring the flag of the United States from sea to shining sea. Trust Alfred Hitchcock never to repeat himself. Following To Catch a Thief, he has started production on a new subject, far different both in background and mood. Here are the first scenes from The Trouble with Harry, filmed in the beautiful backcountry of New England. And now through the VistaVision camera, you'll see the color and glory of its fall season as it's never been photographed before. Naturally, since The Trouble with Harry is a Hitchcock picture, it deals with murder. But since it is a Hitchcock picture, it handles the subject in a completely unusual and, we might add, very amusing way. We'll give you one clue. Mr. Hitchcock calls it a comedy about a body. That's The Trouble with Harry. <laughs> Now get set for something very different. You're going to see one of the great comedians of our time in the most unusual and appealing role he's ever played. It's Bob Hope making his VistaVision debut in the true life story of one of the unforgettable stars of the entertainment world, Eddie Foy, the greatest father of them all, who had seven motherless kids to raise and did it in the only way he knew how. 
right on stage. How his seven little boys raised the roof and gave poor Pop a bad time in theaters from coast to coast is one of the immortal stories of show business. George Washington was the father of his country, as many other fathers we could name. His father, Knickerbocker, who got us out of heart, they ought to put him in the Hall of Fame. Pretty thing. Let's say a few kind words for Whistler's father and Pop Hanson, the father of baseball. But when I see my kids in line, I realize the world is mine. Oh, I'm the greatest father of them all. The limitless range of VistaVision gives new impact to a dramatic story of the West, filmed in the great tradition of Shane. Or like Shane, Run for Cover is a story of human emotions and conflict, with a great all-star cast, including James Cagney, John Derrick, Vivica Linfors, and Jean Herschel. Run for Cover is a story of relentless pursuit, sweeping through the mountain passes of rugged Colorado. Suspense builds through every moment, and violence strikes with the startling impact of a rifle shot. Run for Cover is a story overpowering in its dramatic force, overwhelming in its scenic grandeur. Filmed by Paramount in the new beauty of Vista Vision. you fair warning. When you see We're No Angels, you'll laugh like the devil. For that's what it's all about. Devil's Island. But if you think that this is a grim and brutal story, you've got another thing coming. It's the comedy hit that Broadway roared at for a solid year. About three desperate escaped convicts who hide out in a wonderful and wacky way. And who are the convicts? Humphrey Bogart. Peter Ustinov. Aldo Ray. Yes, they've got the bloodhounds on their trail, but Bogart and his buddies are far away. This is Humphrey's Hideaway, and inside it, you'll find beautiful Joan Bennett. <coughs> Leo G. Carroll, that delightfully dim-witted topper of TV fame. And that bad man, Basil Rathbone. He's the one who gives everybody problems that the three wise guys solve in their own way. For instance, Bogart's the genius. He can sell anybody a bill of goods. Peter Ustinov is the artist. He can open anything. In fact, that's how he got to Devil's Island in the first place. Aldo Ray is the lover. He can, well, maybe we'd better not go into that. Anyway, We're No Angels will give you a whale of a good time as it demonstrates VistaVision's great versatility, as adaptable to rousing comedy as it is to tremendous spectacle. From the biggest state in the Union comes another sweeping dramatic subject for the VistaVision cameras. A story of the Texas boom days, set off by the magic word, oil. Here in a towering, spectacular saga of millionaires made overnight, as fortunes are wrested from the depths of the earth, we follow the glittering career of the woman who taught them how to spend these fortunes. Lucy Gallant, 
starring Jane Wyman in another great dramatic portrayal, and Charlton Heston as the rough and ready Texan who could buy everything but her love. Their story is told against the lavish background of newly found wealth, the Texas of today, as fabulous in its own way as the oft-told stories of its frontier past. Here is one of its colorful scenes, the brilliance of Lucy Gallant's Million Dollar Fashion Show. Beautiful gown, beautiful girl, glamorized as never before in Vista Vision. Here comes the circus, and Vista Vision shows it to you with all its scope and splendor. It's bigger, brighter, and in Paramount's three ring circus, it's funnier, because look who's in it. Jerry Lewis, the king of the high wire. His partner, Dean Martin, waiting to pick up the pieces. Yes, when Martin and Lewis take over the three ring circus, it's a four alarm riot. <laughs> Sensational Zsa Zsa Gabor is the girl on the flying trapeze. Beautiful Joanne Drew is the ringmaster, and Dean is sweet on both of them. Of course, there's hundreds of wonderful gags. Among them, Dean and Jerry's hilarious battle with the custard machine. These are the Paramount productions you will be seeing soon, enhanced and glorified by this new concept called Vista Vision, this new high fidelity of sight. We will present the amazing clarity and brilliant color of these VistaVision films in the fullest height and width of screen that this theater can provide. For we are proud to be in the vanguard of this new and unparalleled advance in the 50-year history of filmmaking. To bring you greater enjoyment of motion picture entertainment with VistaVision, motion picture high fidelity.